The Presidential Medal of Freedom is our country's highest civilian honor. Katherine Johnson earned one not just for being a mathematical genius, but for using her brilliance to help humanity break barriers in space, all the while breaking gender and racial barriers right here on Earth. Katherine Johnson's talent for math was obvious from a young age. Incredibly, she was admitted to high school at the age of 10, entered college at 15, and then was chosen to be one of the first three African-American students to integrate the graduate school program at West Virginia University, and the only woman. Katherine Johnson ends up in Hampton, Virginia, and at the time, Langley Research Center had openings for people who had very strong math skills. And though the facility was initially segregated, they were open to having African Americans. She was offered a job to work in the colored computer pool. After only two weeks on the job, Johnson was pulled to assist a new group of engineers in the flight branch. She would never go back. At the new organization named NASA, Johnson calculated the flight path of Alan Shepard's Freedom 7 mission. America's first human space flight. When they began these first flights, there was a lot of anxiety about whether or not they had calculated everything precisely. Katherine Johnson played a very strong role in that. She understood the mathematics at a very, very high level. People depended on her calculations in order to make sure that the flight would be successful, which it was. Then in 1962, she would accomplish the work for which she would become legendary. We, the nation, standing by for this attempt to put the first American in orbit. John Glenn's mission would be the first mission for an American astronaut to completely orbit the Earth and return. His orbit had been calculated with computers from blast off to landing, but he did not trust the computers, and so he requested that Katherine Johnson manually calculate these equations to prove that they matched those of the computer, and they did. T minus 10 seconds, counting, eight, seven. He six, trusted in her brilliance five, more than he trusted in the four, computer calculations. Three, two, one, lift off. John Glenn's mission was a spectacular success. But this was only the beginning of Katherine Johnson's remarkable career. Miss Johnson participated in almost every stage of America's 20th century space program, at a time when discrimination based on race and gender suppressed the ambitions of so many women. Her undeniable brilliance and effectiveness challenged institutional racism and sexism and served as a role model for all women pursuing careers in the sciences.